Hello, everyone. Rockstar here, recording a video to supplement this technical case study we will be releasing shortly. It's a follow up on a case study we published recently, uh, where we went in the details of the huge success um, at Baltic Honey Badger 2023, where Hoddle Hoddle used BTC Pay to accept payments at the conference. I mean, everyone loved these terminals and then um, NFC cards. It was collaboration by a lot of different projects. So when people saw all of this, they were like, okay, how do I do it? Well, this is why this step-by-step -step guide is coming out. And on top of that, I'm recording the video for those that if they're like following the text and not understanding certain details, you can just queue up this video, play it, and follow what I'm doing. Um, I'll try to make it a short video because you really need 10 minutes uh, <laughs> if you're not talking and explaining the context. You need 10 minutes to set all this up. Um, prerequisite for everything is, of course, BTC Pay Server instance. You can use any hosting provider. Um, and we have in documentation like details on how you can do this on each of these providers. What I'm going to use is LunaNode. Um, and yeah, let's get that started. Um, I already have account on LunaNode, funds, and created API key, but this is something you will need to do uh, if you don't have account. So my API ID, my API key, continue. Uh, same thing for the main, you know, this is the reserved IP address. So if you want to host BTC pay under your domain, you would just enter it here, uh, redirect the NSA to point to this IP. I'll just use Luna nodes. Uh, provided domain and URL um, here. Yeah, skip shit coins. <laughs> go into these other details. All look good. So all you need to do is click launch VM, and you know, two, three, five minutes later, this will be up and running. So to save time, this is where I will cut the video, and then I will see you all in about five minutes on this address all right by magic of time travel it's five minutes later and btc pay server instance is up and running and here we will just try to follow all the steps as quickly as possible so account creation and plugin installation uh, you need to create main administrative account on btc pay whoever creates the first account yeah that that one is administrative, create a store, and then install plugins, LM Prism, and Side Shift. So let's complete this step. Um, I'll go here with Rockstar at uh, google.com. <laughs> SNTP server is not set up, so um, this will just be used as a username. No email will be sent. And then make sure you put in secure password and this is what was said about creating your first store you can skip this but it's better to just have one store for testing so we'll say um, btc pay demo store get that store up and running and um, said so we need to install lm prism and uh, side shift plugins. So let's get them going. And then once you have select them for installation, you can restart. I mean, you need to restart BTC Pay server for the next step to take effect. And while we wait for server to restart, let's keep going. Get this video uh, as short as possible, show showcasing everything. So we'll need to set up a demo store and configure the rates because sending um what we're going to do is we're going to be converting some of the sats into stable coins and using side shift for that 
fees are around 2%. So that's what we're going to cover. And then Prism will create uh, payouts. So we want that to be approved automatically. Um, let's see if server is back up and running. It should be. Yes. So let's complete that other step. Just get the rates to 2%. Uh, automatic payout processor. Boom, another step completed. So here, um, what is being explained that BTC Pay server itself, it does come with integrating Lightning Node. Uh, but if you don't want to have merchants manage liquidity, open channels, or do all of that stuff, there is support to use Albi for this step. So what I'm going to do myself, like I actually go here, Albi, and uh, I already have Albi account. If you don't, you will just need to go to Albi, register, create account, verify everything, and get to the same page with payouts and wallets. Um, so yeah. Here in the section is just wallet credentials. Please don't swipe this uh, connection string from the video, or please do. <laughs> I uh, I won't leave many sets in it, but the whole point of this step is you just need this connection string for LD Hub. And now you have all be managing liquidity, and all of your payments will be arriving to this account okay that step completed now when it comes to uh, converting sats into stable coins um, uh, I will showcase how you can get a stable coin address with green wallet I uh, have one installed on my phone so this part of the demo will be a bit shorter but you whether you have you have, an, have android go to google play store download it set it up uh, following the instructions here and if you're on ios you have the same instructions for apple's app store once everything is set up you will start receiving um, conversion of sats into stable coins so let's do this um, Actually, most of the setup is on um, phone. I've already completed that part. So all I need to do is go to Prism, click on Generate Side Shift Destination, and this select, because it's green wallet, it's receiving Tether on Liquid, and enter destination here. Prepare my destination, generate code. And uh, here, yeah you get Ellen URL and this side shift URL that you can use uh, to kind of administer and see the orders that will happen for this destination. And that step is now done. Uh, everything we did is described here. Now what's left is to set up a prism for conversion. So let's do that. Let's follow these instructions add prism set source to asterisk create new destination for side shift create one for lightning address and then complete prism configuration so that's what i'm doing here um, create a new destination we say side shift to uh, liquid usd destination is the LN URL I got SAS threshold in this market? I can even set it at 25,000 uh, SATs and then reserve fee. This, if you have good liquidity between your Lightning node and side shift, this can be zero. Uh, but I'm going to set one because it's like up to 1%. And side shift destination created. Let's also create open sets lightning address destination from technical case study. This is the destination. 
and we can put sas threshold lower here let's say like 10,000 sats because it's lightning to lightning we'll put reserve fee to one percent and um, those destination parameters override these global parameters you see here um, if you're wondering why there is uh, there are two settings so you could essentially skip defining this and then that's where the where these settings will play uh, from there we did all of this we want to add destination oh, first add prism asterisk and then add destination select side shift let's do 80 percent of sets will go to stable coin and then 10% goes to open sets lightning address as instructed in the guide activate prism enable checkbox top save button at the bottom there we go save and uh, that's pretty much it actually um we now have our lightning uh, payment method configured we have prism configured so now all we need to do is test our payments with point of sale app um, we just need a keypad view and then we'll be able to test so point of sale pay demo create keypad save view key shop <laughs> it's a t-shop because of a display title we can update that and um, yeah now enter amount in usd this should be more than enough um set in sats bitcoin is at around 28k so i just want to hit the threshold above 25,000 sats that we defined for um, forwarding to prism through prism so there we go 55,000 sats let's pay this invoice okay boom lightning is hard very hard as you can tell <laughs> Payment complete. And um, now if we navigate back to our administration, what you will see is like, okay, a new payout is approved and awaiting payment. And from there, you can see that our payout from Prism is complete already. Sats have been sent to side shift and from there will be converted to USDT. Uh, the way that will look like is um, let me bring a screenshot from my phone, like something like this. So this is what you're gonna see, um, and yeah, the stable coins will just keep arriving into your wallet. Keep in mind that if you want to send them, you will need some liquid Bitcoin for transaction fees, and that's pretty much it. I mean. Um, if you go back to prism you will see that these destinations will keep occurring sats until they're over the destination threshold after which payout is created and then uh, automatically approved and completed and that's pretty much it um if anyone watching this video replicates this setup and uses it especially if you get more than 20 merchants we got in riga you get more merchants better um, send that information send some feedback and uh, we would love to share this with the world and take volume from existing fiat rails like visa and mastercard the more we take the better um, when it comes to all the technology used here, yeah, it's uh, fully open source and available. Uh, BTC Pay server code is under BTC Pay server project. All the repositories are there. You know, whether it's a server itself, 
um, blog, documents, everything is there. Plugins, um, Alan Prism and SideShift, you can find them under Cookies um, account. So if you want to code a new destination other than SideShift, just clone um, this folder, uh, change the uh, API calls, and you will be good to go. That's it. Enjoy the video, team. Let me know what is the feedback, and let's keep pushing Bitcoin forward. See ya.